my people <laughs> welcome back this is charlie from pickles barbecue today what we're gonna be doing is collard greens in the instant pot can do them stove top too it's just the instant pot or a pressure cooker is far simpler and takes less time so i'll leave the recipe down below you can follow that do follow my friend jack's drink water he's got a great channel and funny enough one of his videos about this popped up after i made my video so go follow him, I'll leave his link down below. He does a whole bunch of uh, Instant Pot videos. Also does a lot of workout on the grill. Great guy too, super great guy. Anyhow, hope you all enjoy it. And if you haven't had collard greens or if you don't like them, give this one a try, because it's really good. Porky, spicy, so good. Makes a great side for barbecue and anything else. Anyhow, stay tuned people. All right guys, let's get to starting. What I've got here is about, about two and a half, a little over two and a half cups of chicken chicken broth. We'll go ahead and add that to our instant pot. Add a little bit of black pepper. Black pepper to taste. That's probably about a, that's probably about a teaspoon or so. A little bit of red cayenne pepper. If you like it spicy, I do. A little bit of that. Some garlic powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and use about, probably about a half tea to half to a full teaspoon of garlic powder. Same thing with onion powder. I'll probably use about, about a half a teaspoon of that. Add a couple of teaspoons of sugar. Just plain old white sugar. You can add brown sugar too. That looks just fine. Splash of apple cider vinegar. Just to brighten it up. And then we've got the special ingredient. Well, two actually. What I've got here is Louisiana hot sauce. You can use your own favorite hot sauce. I like adding a couple dashes of this. And then a couple of ham hocks. So these are smoked ham hocks just from straight from the store. Go ahead and settle her in. So I added all that stuff. Now we're gonna go ahead and chop up our collard greens. These are from the garden. This is the very last bit that we got. Go ahead and get chopping. That's pretty much all there is, all there is to it. I wash these, trim the stems off a little bit. I'm particularly about the stems because they will boil down pretty well. They're cooked pretty well. Shot into pretty reasonable, reasonable sized pieces. So we're gonna go ahead and Cut these down as small or large as you want them. And once again, they will cook down. So don't worry about that so much. So this is about the size I've got. About kind of a two by two piece or a one by two piece. Throw them into our Instant Pot. See, so there's a stem. We're gonna go ahead and leave that guy. Those are like bat wings. Go to the store, there's probably about two bunches of collard greens. Go ahead and push all this stuff in. Like I said, it will cook down real quick. Go ahead and take a look over here. And here we are. We got our last handful. So it's pretty packed up right now, but it, like I said, that'll disappear in no time at all. Here's our last handful or so. Go ahead and seal her up. That lovely sound. So one thing, gang, I did forget the salt. I'm gonna go ahead and add that. I'm gonna add about, uh, about a teaspoon of kosher salt. Maybe a little bit more. About a teaspoon and a half, two teaspoons. Go ahead and add that. Let's seal her back up. We're ready to go. All right, guys. Our collard greens are done. Let's go ahead and dig into these. So I just let it natural release. 
just finally came down. Look at that. See if I can't get you right in there. It could probably use a little bit of hot sauce at this point too. And you can also season that wheel. Let's give her a taste test. And they are, they are blazing hot right now. There you have it. Collard greens, as easy as can be. I'll tell you this, they are very good, very easy. Take no time at all. Can do it on the stove top, but it takes a little bit longer. Pickles barbecue, if I can do it, you can too. 